oh, and they're, to they're get missing. The download. Yeah, try like oh, what, oh, 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 what, what? What is happening? No, 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 no. We're not seeing a, huh? We're seeing a me sword fighter ditto. Ah, huh? <laughs> I, I, you know, I've never booed on commentary before. I was kidding. <laughs> All right, give, give, give me sword sec. fighter. Couple of a uh, couple of characters that we don't really see all that often, especially offline. Uh, and right now, it already looks like Arconi. Uh, they're, they're, they're the one in the lead right now. Yeah, this was Arconi's main before uh, Pyramithra came out, and that's uh, really. Yeah, he he played me sword fighter for a while, and I wonder if this is his uh, setup that he likes to play with right now. Yeah. But a, a good side but... to get back to stage from Kyle Young. Now. You know, me sword fighter, like, oh, he's the sword fighter. No, actually, he's kind of got a couple projectiles they could use. He can be a zoner, depending on how you play him. Yeah, that the Gale Slash, uh, you know, covers a lot of space. The Chakram is incredibly strong. And the Light Shuriken actually is what um, Arconi opts for, getting a little bit of chip damage in. It also has trip potential, but yeah. really good for zoning opponents out. Both of these players right now just kind of uh, scoping out what options the other has right now seeing what's working with the current Meef sword fighter setups they've got going. I will say, I do... <laughs> both of their, their characters are a little customized with uh, Kyle Young finding that... Uh, I think that was the Tornado Slash that was, uh, to Up Air. To Up Air, yes. Um, up Air, the uh, sweet spot of it hits really hard, does a lot of damage, and at higher percentage, it kills very easily. Um, but already, we see like a down tilt back air. Oh, no! Good tech. Okay. No tech, but they still make it back. That uh, Stone Scabbard, the upbeat uh, from Arconi, making it very, very easy to get back. Has yeah. a really good vertical recovery. Not a good uh, horizontal one, though. Yeah, that's kind of where the other two recoveries of Beast Warfighter come in. And this one, I think that one, it's super strong on stage if you get it to connect, but it's got really, really strong uh, vertical, like you said earlier. And I don't think you can really challenge it too much either. But we see Kyle Young trying to... I guess build a combo out of a drag down fair, but not much going landing for him. That yeah, the drag down's a little bit too weak to, to result in anything uh, big, I guess. But yep, down throw up there. Yeah, I know that me sword has me sword fighter has that at least at certain percents. Right, it's a very strong option, but there's the gale slash into the uppy, uh, the hero spin. But unfortunately for them, uh, they held backwards, not forwards. And uh, unfortunately, that's not going to connect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would have killed at that situation too, because that hero slat, hero spin is incredibly strong, especially at ledge. Oh yeah, I was going to say, and on this stage too. <laughs> yeah, we kind of see oh, that down smash. Oh, there's a spike. Yep. Yeah. That it I think almost that made it back. <laughs> it did. It did. But then, then again, the uh, the down air was just to put a capitalization on that hit uh, and take that stock, but. You know, there it is. That is the stock and the game. I think every <laughs> stock that Arkham took was uh, down throw up air. I think maybe it certainly is uh, one of their best kill kill confirms because it's it's so strong. That sweet spot up oh, air absolutely. hits very hard, but <laughs> not what I expected going into this match. But pretty good, I guess. Me sword fighter gameplay from both players going right back into that setup once again. Oh, yep. You know, uh, you know, kind of throw everything we said in the pre-show out the window here. Neither of these guys uh, playing their current mains. Um, I think the only person playing their main tonight is actually Bright. <laughs> so, you know, it's whatever though. We're 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 enjoying the the underrepresented characters here. But there's a down tilt to double backer. Lots of percent adding up onto Kyle Young. Yeah. I wonder if this is because of the inherent disadvantage that Rob has against Arconi's main. If he was kind of went up to him before the game and said, "Hey, hey, between me and you, you want to play me Sword Fighter for fun?" And Arconi's not gonna say no to that. I mean, look, at him. he's a nice guy. <laughs> it sounds like a fun time, you know. He's like, "Oh, cool, free win." Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean Kyle Young holding his own for for sure. Uh, that was meant for Goose, I think. But, you know, Arconi still played this character for a long time um, before their current character came out. And, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think that was kind of what swayed Arconi towards the favor of playing this character. He certainly has the uh, matchup, uh, I guess, advantage 
with knowing that character more. Kyone's not somebody to scoff at though, but uh, right now, especially with that charged F smash, it's looking like Arconi is a little bit more comfortable with this, just a little more comfortable with this character. Right, oh, there's the drag back chakram to down smash. That down <laughs> smash is actually uh, not a move I see too often. It's got a really brutal angle. Yeah. That it sends at. Kind of, not very many characters can make it back from an angle like that. And, oh! oh Whoa! That was disgusting. <laughs> what a stock from our Cody! Holy, Holy back! Look at that. Gets the back air down tilt. Back airs him again. Jumps. P reverses it with the light jerkin. Oh, I'm gonna come back. Nope. <laughs> Just kind of <laughs> waiting to see what option he went for and sniped aye, him with aye, that up B off stage. I don't care what anyone says. That was the rawest thing I've ever seen a uh, <laughs> a V sword fighter do. Yeah. I will. <laughs> oh. Uh, and we're going right Bayo into Ditto. Bayo Ditto. <laughs> this is looking like Smash 4 right now. Arconi's trolling right now. I think they both are. Yeah. Well, look, we do know that Kyle Young played Bayo uh, in the Smash 4 days. Um, and, you know, if Arconi was around at that point, I wouldn't be surprised if they did as well. Bayo kind of far and away the best character in that game. Ultimate kind of struggles a little bit. Uh, more than she used to, but I still think she's a, she's a decent character. Has a, a not a great matchup spread, but she does very well against some floatier characters. I will say. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Twitch chat making me laugh right now. This is kind of looking like Evo Grands. <laughs> 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 but both of these players like looking to uh, perform their best with their characters, and we'll see. Uh, Kyle Young most likely have the uh, character advantage in this state. <laughs> Showing that off right yeah, now. Yeah. He's doing pretty good. Uh oh, somebody doesn't know how to play Bayo. Someone doesn't know doesn't how Bayo's back recovery works. I want you to know that this character is bad and needs buffs in this game. <laughs> if they buff this character, I might legitimately quit and just commentate. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. There's some flashbacks to Smash 4 in that one. Right, right. Uh oh, Kyle Young, they make it back to that side view yep. though. Kyle Young showing his expertise with the recovery of this character. And uh, trying right. to give himself as much as a lead as he can right now. Yeah, and hey, you know, Ben has a character that, that absolutely can snowball. Uh, she does have a, ch a hard time killing though, and it looks like Kyle Young is just being evasive, trying to use that factor to their advantage. Yeah, <laughs> and a and a an F smash reverse. catching uh, Arconi right there, and I right. don't think uh -oh, he's gonna make it spike. back from that. Yeah, the. Uh, the portal boyfriend F smash coming in clutch there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I haven't played a Bayonetta game, so I don't know who that is or why they they have such big meaty claws on that F smash. But you know, he's the portal boyfriend until I hear somebody else tell me actually who he is. Uh, that's Bayo's hair. That's what? That's her hair. <laughs> she has um. You're telling me. You're telling me there's not some dude hanging out behind a portal waiting for his cue to just. You know, I don't think so. Punch. I think that this is just Bayo doing what Bayo does. She's got some crazy powers. If he... oh, oh no, I hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Young takes a game. Yeah, with a well placed uh, down smash spike. That move has a ton of utility over at the ledge, especially against a uh, a recovery that Kyle Young is intimately familiar with, such as Bayo's. Right, and then you see they did that after the burnt jump happened, uh, and Arconi could not make their way back there. No. But we're getting the mirror match again. They, I think they might have agreed to use their former mains for the first four games. <laughs> Do some dittos. Uh, I'm, I'm. If this goes into a game five, I don't know what characters we'll see then. I couldn't tell you. I think I have a feeling Arconi's not going to go to losers this early. Same with Kyle Young. So, you know, eh. They're not gonna <laughs> I wanna, tell you too much. I don't think they're going to want to throw it away with the mains that they've, or the characters that they've been picking. I don't think we'll see an, a Game 5 Arconi uh, Bayonetta. Or uh, me Sword Fighter from either of these gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, maybe from Arconi. It was looking kind of no. raw. Right, right. Yeah, Arconi, you know, still, still can play the character well. Um, and obviously Kyle Young still can play the Bayonetta well. What if we got Bayo uh, me Swordfighter for the game five? Yeah, it's just kind of going with who they picked. I don't know. 
that would be I I'd, I'd be that'd be interesting to see more hype than a uh, Ditto's Ditto's match in my opinion. But I think we might see a return to the actual mains. Oh, well yep. placed fruit smash. <laughs> Portal boyfriend, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, I kind of just like pissing off Bayonetta players. That's a funny name for it. I, I'm going to be yeah. honest, I might start using that too. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's her hair though? I think so. She's got some that's... hair powers in her actual game. Yes. So she's kind of she's kind of like Milia Rage from from Guilty Gear, is what you're telling me. Except more demonic based, I think. Yeah. Ah. Okay. That makes sense. Well, I mean, Milia's hair is actually, if you want to get into the deep lore, a forbidden beast. But True. We're talking about Smash Ultimate right now. There's some shady business going on right there. But looking back at this game, we see uh, <laughs> Arconi still struggling to take this first stock. <laughs> yep, yep, Shades of Last Game, actually, as well. Oh, but there's a forward throw. Wait, wow, this is looking exactly like Last Game. Hold up. Yeah, we'll see if we get a another uh, spike at some point or another. Oh, yep. Yep, oh, there it is, the uh, uppercut. A very well good, uh, very good, uh, I think that was, uh, that's not Bats Within, that's Witch Time. That's what it is. I just remember it. Yeah. What? One thing I will say, it is Bats Crazy. Bats is crazy. <laughs> I will say, Bats Within is an incredible concept with this character that kind of got borrowed with Pyramithra, Arconi's other uh, right. main. See if he starts now, utilizing it at some ooh, point. Oh my god, that could have been up air down smash. I, I saw that coming too. I I kind of wanted it, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm not disappointed I didn't see it. Oh, missing out on that side beat up. Yeah, alright, huh. well... Balls in your court, Arconi. It is going to be game five. Yeah, that was a, uh, huh. that was a very abrupt way to end that match. I was trying to move on with another topic and uh, freaking Kyle Young throws <laughs> out a back air to just end it immediately. Boosh. One, misses oh, yeah, that yeah. side beat. Whoop. And just. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Not untechable. That was but... really good babysitting. Arconi going with the Bayo again. Huh. With how this has been moving, I, I don't I don't know if the, I don't think this is smart. To, oh, I get it. It was the stage well, counter I mean, pick. Look. I get it. But why? You know, it's just fun times between these two. And right now Arconi is, has the percent lead. Maybe he's uh maybe he's been holding back in these last two games. Maybe he secretly does know what Bayo does. Word, but like, hey, 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 hey! The goal of an invitational isn't always to win; it's to put on a show for the audience, and that's what these guys are doing. Playing one of the best songs in the game. As much as I don't like Bayonetta in this game, I'm sure she's great in her base game. And on top of that, they got some banger music. Yeah, it's it's so fun. It's grooving, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, always a party when there's Bayonetta music playing. And there's the back air from Arconi taking a very early lead in this game. Yeah, kind of a complete 180 from the past two games. Seems like maybe Arconi was holding back. Right. Now I will say that uh, Bayonetta, a lot of her, a lot of her attack animations, like the, the highlights that she's got on all of her kicks and the witch twists and everything, super cool. I, yeah. I, I love how this character is designed. I don't like her air dodge though. They certainly put a lot of effort into this character going into Smash 4 with all of the effects. They really went all out with her. Yeah, but they kind of overdid it in that game. It's nice to see her toned down a little bit. <laughs> you know, they, they made her a little a little too strong in that game. I think everybody right, but, agreed. You know, it took the two games to figure out how to balance her. And, you know, I, I think she's balanced enough. Yeah. Got, got, still got some of those broken aspects, but not too much of those uh, are, are overshadowing every other character in the game in this one, so we'll give her a pass. <laughs> These two characters kind of flying around the stage looking for stray hits is what it, it's what it seems like right now. <laughs> Man, Evo Grand Finals wishes it was this high. <laughs> and another oh, forward there's smash, that F smash to take it for Kyle Young. Kyle Young takes a lead. Maybe Kyle Young uh, not letting Arconi get as much as he wanted right now. Some oh, interesting man, and, resets uh, right now. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, great tag from Arconi! 
Arconi the GOAT! He's still in this thing. I think uh, I think that was a down air trade uh, I... with Witch Twist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Is the same because... situation. Oh, okay. All right. One more sock for both of these guys. And hey, look. Arconi is the man of advantage state. If they could get a nice little combo here, it yeah. could be curtains for Kyle. With a character like this, it really if you're good enough, it really only takes one interaction to lead to your victory. And Arconi certainly needs that right now. And mm. a good... Oh, the bat's within. Not quite oh, enough. wow. Uh-oh. Can he make it back? Nice tech! Arconi makes it back. Yeah. Holding on by a thread. Not dying. Currently sitting at 160%. He's got the rage to make something happen. Absolutely. And currently and getting... Bayonetta. Heavy as a paperweight. <laughs> Both ah! these players swinging, looking for an opportunity to hit uh -oh. that down air. And that's it. Yep. That trade with down air. Gonna here. take it. Oh, was it down air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Arconi uh... threw out back air, but Kyle Young threw out a down air to see if he could. And he won the trade. He won the game. Right. Absolutely did. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was that downer. Okay, trade it with Nair. Uh, and that is going to kill off the top. 